but not since Bieber hit Aussie shores of girls had an excuse to scream their lungs out and we got to experience that for ourselves and we fired up the studio yesterday, even dragged Dave into work on his day off to interview off. Taylor Lauder. <laughs> this is how it went down. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on the Project S, please welcome Taylor Lautner! <laughs> deafness already? <laughs> I gotta say, that's an impressive crowd. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna say that was a very safe thing to say in that audience. Uh, welcome. Is this, is this just normal for you now? Like, do you just walk into rooms of squealing girls? Is that is that how your life rolls? Not necessarily. I mean, it, it all depends where you are. I mean, uh, it's still... It, you never get used to it, because you're right, it's it's not normal. Um, but it's, it's great. I mean, that kind of fan support, uh, I wouldn't be where I am today without that. But it is. Yeah, you never can really wrap your head around it. Does it get a little bit normal? Like, are there some rooms you go into and go, yeah, you squealed. Not quite enough. <laughs> Twilight, you had like a full level uh, screaming kind of, you know, the screamer down to the almost passed out. Right, yeah. There was, I call it the passion level. And, you know, <laughs> so the, the lowest level is screamer, you know? Correct. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. You, you, have, you have the screamers and then you have the choirs. And that's, that's really impressive. <laughs> and then we have had the fainters. And they just completely boom. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> those, those are some impressive fans. But they, they, they've, they've always come to you. <laughs> you, you, haven't had, you haven't had the dies, have you? <laughs> Not yet. Hopefully, hopefully we stay away from there. Have you ever had a moment where it's just gotten too much with the fans? Where they've done something just too crazy? I mean, I would... I, I, no, I would not say it's too much. We have had some crazy situations. Uh, I mean, one time I, we were in we were in Brazil. We had two thousand girls break into our, our hotel, and uh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we ended up needing to call in the uh, Brazilian National Guard to get them out, and uh, it was it was pretty intense. How do you get two thousand girls out of a hotel? <laughs> I, if you had a lift, they would have left. But... <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to do it. You so. were barricading the hotel room. Or? Um, we were we were in a little room doing interviews. It was me and Kristen, and uh, security rushed in and locked the doors and interrupted our interview, and we were like, what's going on? And they're like, don't stress right now, but 2,000 girls got past hotel security. <laughs> and, uh, they know what room you're in, and they're on their way up here right now. But we've called Brazilian National Guard, and they'll be here soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to ask you, you're, you're 20, right? Almost. Almost 20. You're not even 20. Now, yeah. if, if I was like 19 and in your position, I'd be a dick, right? Like, <laughs> How do you keep it together like this? Um, I mean, family and friends are, are, are really important to me. I, I keep them tight, and when I travel, I like bringing them with me. I mean, it gets it gets lonely, and they definitely keep me grounded. What, you get lonely? That's yeah, incredible. Sure. Yeah. yeah, there were only 2,000 kids in the hotel. <laughs> what do your mum and dad think about the whole thing? Um, I don't know. I mean, they, they're still just mom and dad, which, which is great and which is what I would want. And, um, I mean, it, it's, I kind of live two different lives. Like, I have this life, which is great, and I'm doing everything I love, and then I go home and I'm taking off the trash. You're still living at home, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, because I, for the past couple years, I've just been traveling nonstop and filming movies. I, I haven't even had time to look for a place. Just tell me they charge you board. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're chipping in for groceries, oh, huh? For sure. <laughs> now, what's, what's really exciting for us is, is you're here to promote the new film Abduction, yeah. which is which Australia gets a, the first look at your new movie. Right, it comes why, out why of Why Australia? Why, why, did, why did you choose here? I love Australia. I just think it, it's beautiful to people. But I mean it. I really do. I have a lot of fun every time I come here, and I'm so excited to be back. And Maybe Australian we... women as well. You have Australian women. Oh also. yeah. <laughs> that uh, that accent is pretty intriguing. <laughs> I think I just heard a green light right there. <laughs> when we went to see the movie uh, on Friday, I've got to admit I was looking at your remarkable body, but the boys, I think. <laughs> Jealous, like they just want to 
to know how many hours you spend in the gym, the how you... Yeah, the fact is me and Charlie are on the protein powder on a daily basis. <laughs> we are, and we're getting nowhere. <laughs> How do you do it, man? It's tough. Oh, it's... You've got an eight pack. I can't find the first one. <laughs> we need an excuse to roll some hot shots of you. That's oh, why I no. asked you that. So the oh, girls no. can get to check Don't out. Yeah. <laughs> How many hours a day? It really, I mean, the trick is the trick is doing just the perfect amount and not doing too much. Like when I had to put on all the weight, mm. um, I couldn't be in the gym too long. Um, and but the eating was the most important for me. It was I constantly had to be eating every two hours, and it was just high, high protein. All yeah. of the you can't have fries with every meal. Not necessarily. <laughs> I'd have to say that Dave and I have got the not working out too much thing down. So I, think, I think we've got to work on the rest of it. Then. Yeah, yeah. Can it's... I ask you about school? Is it true that you're bullied at school? Is that true? Yeah, no, I wasn't. I wasn't bullied. I was kind of. I was maybe a little different because I. I oh. <laughs> I think I was 12. Were you just born an ant? What happened? I, you know, I think it originally came from, I think it, most of it was from martial arts. It, there was a lot of hard work there, and uh, I don't know, maybe that's where it came from? I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> what um, else? Have you ever read anything just ridiculous about yourself that you just wanted to go, that's not true? All the time. All the time. Uh, I mean, I've had, I've had death rumors. Um, oh. I've, I've randomly had, like, family members calling up, making sure I'm alive. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, the internet says you're dead. Oh, and, how uh, did you die in those rooms? There's been some interesting ones. I think the most interesting, I was somehow killed by these exotic dancers. <laughs> at a nightclub. I'm not sure how they killed me, but it, that was a really funny one. Your life's even good in yeah. death. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have run out of time now. We do want to end on a... a, a, a it's okay. We, we do want to end on a great big squeal again from the audience, but we can either do that with a photo of your abs or your own actual abs. It's entirely... It's entirely up to you. There we go. Oh, that works. Uh, Charlie, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.